is the big day. Alfie, are you ready? Alfie's got his eyes closed. What's up everybody, Rebecca Louise here. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I am just in more and more and more in love with you. Thank you so much for all of the love and support over the last two lifestyle transition videos. It wasn't easy, but you guys just made it, huh, you made it so much easier for me. And today I thought, well, you know what? We got a little bit of craziness, chaoticness happening, but I wanted to give you a house tour because I am moving today. I'm actually moving. I'm also flying off to Nashville as well today, so it's a little bit crazy. We had an event this weekend, so we've spent the last 24 hours packing and filming workout videos. So guys, are you ready to take a look at the house tour? Woo, Alfie, you ready? All right, let's come check out the house. So probably one of my favorite things about this house that I am gonna miss is this huge back garden because I always had the dream to let Alfie and Penny have just a huge yard that they can run around. So they will not have that in the next place. It's gonna be very different because houses are crazy right now. And it was so expensive to get something even equivalent to this. And I'm gonna be going, I'm traveling a lot. There's some things happening and I'm gonna be traveling a lot and I'm super excited now that COVID has kind of calmed down a little bit, we are gonna be traveling a little bit more. So I wanted to show you first of all, my little back garden. Okay, that's my lettuce grow over there. I really need to get back into that because I was doing so good at the beginning. But look how pretty this is. I am going to really miss this view, I'm not gonna lie. And what a beautiful day it is as well. Oh, the ocean straight out there. Oh, this is so pretty. I do absolutely love this house, but you know what? I'm not attached to things. I'm attached to experiences. And I think that's actually a really important note is yes, I'm sad to leave this house, but you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm more about the memories and things that happen in life. They're the things that you can hold on to. They're the things that really matter. You know, the material things don't matter. The events that we've had here, that's what I'm gonna cherish, you know? Yes, it's the most beautiful place. I love my bathroom. By the way, you're gonna, went, you're gonna wanna see my bathroom, so don't go anywhere. But it's the events that we've had here. I would say, have we had like 10 to 15 different events? Birthday parties, we've had book launches, we've had extravaganzas, we've had, oh my goodness, just so many fun events, book launches, right? It's just, they're the things that I'm gonna take away from that. So enough of me chatting, I'm gonna take you around the rest of the house. Penny, are you excited to leave? Or are you sad to leave? Okay, so here you can see all the workout stuff that from yesterday. And I was actually just doing an interview this morning on NBC News. Um, but let me show you, cute little fireplace here, TV. But this was our merch room. So this is where we had all of the stuff up. I'm sure you've probably seen some of the stuff before, but this was a perfect little room that we had all of our merchandise on. I kind of wish I got some video footage of like what it looked like when it was all set up, but it's okay, everything's no problem. I'm just glad that I'm getting this in now before I completely leave. My team are like, we need a house tour, we need a house tour. Okay, so let me show you the living room. All right, so our living room here, this is like my favorite couch. It is unbelievable, so cozy. Oh, there's Alfie. Alfie, are you excited to leave? I'm getting my stuff ready because I'm packing up for Nashville. We've got all of these boxes ready to go. This is the kitchen. I love the style of this kitchen. It's so unique. I love this. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a blue. Would you say that's blue? I don't know. Would you say it's like a blue color? But these lights are really cool as well. I'm definitely going to miss areas of the kitchen. And then this is what was crazy. I've never had a pantry before. One, I don't really like the word pantry. You know, I have like some of those words that you like don't like. I don't like the word moist, pantry, um, pamphlet. If you have a word that you're like, I do not like this word, please put it below. So let me walk you into my pantry. You could basically like camp out in here. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna miss the pantry because that's where I like to have all of my, all of my products. All right, and then here is where my Prosecco would go. I have a whole cabinet of Prosecco. Do not worry, I'm gonna have a bottle ready to go as soon as I move into the new place. So this is where like the little alcohol storage. And then through here, this was like a dining room area where I would do a lot of the BTS uh, team calls, a lot of my uh, trainings and things. So we have this whole room right here, really cool light above. Okay, well now I'm basically putting all of the decoration stuff together in one pile. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to pack, but. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Lucy's like, I don't even know where she's going with this, but this is my decoration part. This is my garden. This is my current garden right here. So I'm actually flying off to Nashville today. And so I've got Lucy 
and Kayla who are gonna be coming in to help move everything with uh, some incredible movers as well. So let's go see what Lucy's doing. All right, Lucy, what are you doing? What are you working on? We are trashing a ton. Are trashing a ton. Uh, we yeah. actually need to hire yeah. a trash bag. Lucy's so good at chucking everything away. Oh yeah, it feels good. She feels good. Nice. We've got the Nordic track. This is one thing that we do have to take. We're taking the Nordic track. So this is like my little office area. And this is where we would do all of the lives. I'm loving this. I love this cabinet. This is so cool. This was from, this is like a one-off piece, you know. I love this. Um, so this is where we did all the lives. Oh, it's kind of sad. This is like the outside area here. The Nordic track treadmill. Lucy's very good at throwing all the stuff away. Look at that. Oh, See, so look, I managed to condense all of that into one thing. Are you proud? Yes. Alfie, are you proud too? Okay, there's more. The one cupboard that we haven't actually attacked right now is the one underneath the stairs. If you've ever had a cupboard under the stairs, that's where stuff just gets shoved, right? But this is actually where all of my Everest things are. So this is the Everest cupboard which basically we do actually have a cupboard under the stairs at the new place. So the new place is completely different. This is 3,700 square feet. I think on a lot of like 8,000 square feet, the new place is what, 1,300 square feet. So that's why I've completely downsized. But to be honest, it actually feels really great. Um, then we've got laundry over here. Yeah, as you can see, we're still moving stuff out of the laundry here. We have our downstairs bathroom, which is actually really cool. It's like a little bit unique and different. Yes, we still got this up here from uh, one of our last events. All right, let's take a look in at the garage. Okay, here we go. This is the garage. <laughs> I think most of this stuff is going, but this is the current garage. Isn't the garage though just like where you put random stuff like that you don't need? The new place that we actually have is a one car garage. I'm gonna take you upstairs now guys. You can just come up and follow me up here. It is a one car garage. Um, and we're not gonna park the car in it, we're just gonna use it for storage because, well, let's face it, we definitely need it with all of our merchandise and all of our fun things. All right, so upstairs right here, there is a really, I don't even know what you'd even use this for, but there's some chairs. I'm pretty sure I've never actually sat in those chairs. Has anybody else got some furniture in their house? They're like, I have never even sat in there before. So we've got chairs here. There's a sink. There's some other stuff going on here. Then we've got the guest bedroom in here. Let me just show you through here. What I really is like about this guest bedroom is it actually has a patio outside, which is really unique. What I probably should have done is actually get some patio furniture and put it out here. I don't even know if I've even really been out here this much. I put, I definitely haven't touched that wall. Okay, I'm gonna touch that wall because I've never actually touched that wall before. Here we go. I'm finding areas in my house I haven't even seen. Okay, so that is really pretty, nice little view. And then the, the pool area was actually just over there, so it's really close to the pool. Um, so this is the guest bedroom. This is where Mel and Jess would stay mostly. And then there's also a little bathroom in here too. So they have their own bathroom. I am taking that thing with me. And then this is my get ready room. My little get ready room. This needs to be a little bit packed up. But I like to have a few jackets and things on display. I've donated so many clothes. I would say like 60% of my clothes, if not more, maybe actually 80% of my clothes I've donated. I love this thing. This light just helps with your makeup. So I always use this. And it's just a sanctuary for me to like come and get ready, get ready for my lives, get ready for interviews and just kind of like have my own time and get focused. Uh, I got another wardrobe right here. And then this out here is another bathroom. So I guess if you had a family, you would have like a whole four bedroom place. And then my favorite part of the house is my bedroom. If it is messy. Okay, well I do have my suitcase on the floor. Okay, and I, there's my bed. Okay, there's my bed. Alfie and Penny were in it this morning. This is their little bed as well. Got my clothes ready here for Nashville. And then this is the most beautiful view. You know what's really interesting as I go around this house, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gutted to leave and I'm sad. And I'm also so grateful. I'm so grateful that I got a year here and to be able to live in this place because tell you what we got it for a steal like it will go for like twice the amount of rent right now so I don't know who was looking out for me or who knew that during COVID I wanted to host all of these different events um and yeah it's like wow the place I'm going to isn't anything like this and 
I'm, it's going to be an adjustment. But I know that it's not long term. So if there's something out there right now where you're like, well, I just feel like I'm going backwards or I'm not, you know, going in the right direction or things feel stuck or still, you know, just embrace them and do the best that you can with what you have. Um, I'm excited about this new chapter. I feel really good actually about downsizing, about getting rid of so much of my stuff. Um, and I think that that's going to be a really great learning curve for me. I just think of everything as learning. Like nothing is negative or positive. It's just the great experience, right? And our vocabulary becomes um, our experiences. So I'm excited. I, I really am. I'm really not actually that sad. I feel like I should be more sad to leave this unbelievable place, but I know it's not going to be forever. You know, I'm going to be able to come back and, and get a brand new house. I'm going to be able to buy one if I just, you know, knuckle down. I've got Everest next year, so a lot of my income is going towards doing that and doing that safely and taking a videographer. Um, and then, you know, I'll be able to save up and get a house and come back over here and it'll be mine and I'll be able to do whatever I want with it, even though this is pretty epic. So who wants to see the most epic part of this whole house? My bathroom. All right, here we go. Okay, well, there's a bunch of boxes here, but you can, you get the picture. How cool is that shower? And the bath, OMG. Yes, I probably didn't have enough baths in here, but that's all good. Really cool light and what a beautiful view on the outside. I've got here, I've got my mega tea right here. You can see things getting piled up. And then there is also a really nice closet in here too. So yeah, that is the bathroom. Well, let me know what you think of this beautiful house in the comments. Uh, where do you live too? Like, I love connecting and finding where this amazing community is all over the world. It's pretty crazy that we are like, I just, I don't even know how many countries that we're in, but we're in a lot of countries. And the great news is, is that Alfie and Penny are great. In fact, there's Penny over there. And Alfie, I have an update. I was feeling his glands last night and they feel so much better. So Alfie, I'm coming over to you, buddy. You wanna say hi to everybody? Because he is feeling oh, a lot better and his glands are swollen, and not as swollen as they were. God, they are so much down. So he's still on his steroid medication. Once a week, he goes in for his chemotherapy and he is doing great. In fact, I've never seen him so lively. I've never seen him so happy. I've never seen him so calm. Um, <laughs> Because sometimes he can, like, if he gets pissed off, like, he'll growl at you. But he's been so good. How do you feel, Alfie? And I'm excited to share. This is probably, I don't know, our, like, 13th, 14th house together. Tell you if this dog could talk. Um, but we want to say thank you so much for all your love and support. If you want a video of what the new place looks like, uh, just drop it in the comments. Let me know saying, yes, I want to see what the new place looks like. Um, and I will make you a video once I get back from Nashville. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. We want to get this channel to a million subscribers. It's one of my goals. So if you're out there right now, you do make a difference. You're going to be part of this collective, of this challenge to get us to one million. So thank you so much from Alfie and I. We love you. Mwah.